What's going on guys, it's you from Aura here, bringing you exciting news about our latest product release. Aura is now available to download on the App Store and Google Play Store, allowing you to bring your Aura projects everywhere with you. We've all been waiting for far too long for this and I'm super excited about it, so go ahead, download it and play with the app. Mobile development will continue to be one of our top priorities this year and we will bring many new features and updates. Moving on, Aura 3 is here. For this major release, we rewrote and redesigned a considerable portion of the app focusing on speed and performance. In fact, Aura 3 is twice as fast and even three times as fast than Aura 2 in some aspects. Measurements include initial load time, task load time, project load time and navigating the app. But that's not all of it. We have also added a ton of new features, so let's take a look at that. Starting at the core of Aura or the project view, you will immediately see the new project sidebar. We've completely redesigned the filters tab. The new project filters show you how many task results will there be of each kind. You can search for filters and combine multiple filters in including or excluding matter. Collapsing the sidebar, you will still have access to quick filtering by assignee, which is handy as this is the most commonly used filter anyway. The next thing on the list is the task details view. As you might have noticed, it has been completely redesigned and you are able to do things such as toggling task history and comments on the right and open task on the right side of the app. By doing so, you will be able to switch between tasks more quickly. Next, my favorite new feature, proofreading, PDFs, images and videos. Yes, that's right. You can now add annotations to these file types directly in Aura by clicking on the attachment and and clicking on the image or video to add a comment in that place. The comment section is also completely different. You can now react to comments, add a GIF, video or audio messages. You might have noticed it looks more like a chat channel now than a comment section. And that's not a coincidence, which brings me to our last major announcement for today, or a chat. For those of you who don't know yet, Aura Chat is a fully functional team chat with one key difference. It's connected to your projects and tasks. Aura Chat allows you to consolidate your entire communication in one single tool. Aura Chat Beta is now available to everyone inside Aura 3 and we plan to make an official release later this year. Aura Chat features a traditional channel system, direct messages, threads, and all we would expect from team chat with one major difference, which is the discussion channels. A discussion channel will force you to keep the conversation on a topic and we create these discussions for you automatically each time there is a comment on a task. The idea behind this is that all task related conversations will remain in the task, which should in theory minimize long channel conversation, lost messages, and most importantly, quartering channels. Another perk of our chat are the video calls. You can now jump on a call directly to anyone in your team. That's all for today, guys. I hope you're excited as much as we are about this announcement and stay tuned as we are planning more of these announcements later this year.